I made a complimentary add-on for Keymesh. Alright guys, how's it going? A very quick video for today and I'm going to be taking a look at the Keymesh add-on. Now, this is made by the same developer who does the sculpting tools for Blender, Pablo aka God, so you know it's got to be pretty darn good. It's available for free, I'll put the link in the description down below. But on top of that, I've also made a kind of complimentary add-on that kind of helps your workflow out a little bit, or I find it helps my workflow out. So let's take a quick look. So once you have the add-on installed, you can go to the end panel and the properties on the right hand side. You can see here key mesh. Now this works inside of sculpting mode and I believe edit mode. What we can do here is we can select the object. I just have a basic UV sphere. I can go into sculpt and I'm going to drop down my first keyframe. I'm then going to press the right arrow just to move to the next frame. And I'm just going to start sculpting and I'm going to keep inserting a keyframe so I can do something like this. Now key mesh is perfect if you do something like stop motion, it's absolutely fantastic. You can do things like splitting the mesh, merging the mesh, you can use edit mode, you can even apply modifiers. It's absolutely cool as anything. So just to give you a quick example, I'm making this horrible animation. I essentially have something like this. And you can see the stop motion effects starting to happen. So that's pretty much the basics of key mesh. You have a purge key mesh data. Now sometimes it might just randomly bug out. So if you ever have a problem, what you can do is you can initialize the frame handler. Now these two options down below are essentially my add-on that I've created. Now I'll put the link in the description down below. If you want to download it, you can download it for free. And it essentially lets you skip keyframes. So what I can do here is I'll go to keyframe 10 for example. Now, the reason I made this is because I don't necessarily want to move a frame at a time. I might want to move 10 frames at a time. And that gives that even more of a stop motion. Now, I could offset the keyframes, but that's a different story. So what I can do here is I can skip something like 5 keyframes. And then I can hit frame skip. And you'll notice what it does is it inserts a keyframe. Next time I hit it, it will jump 5 keyframes and it will insert a keyframe mesh. So I can pretty much keep doing this. Now, if you take insert keyframe off, what I'll do is it'll just quickly jump through five frames. I've added a few shortcuts here. You can jump to the previous keyframe or you can go to the next keyframe. That's just to kind of help you out rather than coming all the way down here. And that is pretty much the reason that I made the add-on. What I can do here is I can skip the keyframes to one. I can insert a keyframe. I can start modeling. I can hit this. And you'll notice that I'm actually moving one keyframe at a time and creating a keyframe. And it just saves you a couple of clicks to be honest. Now I have added this to a key map, I think it's Shift and R. So you might want to change this, so it can be set up to however you want. And that's pretty much it. That is key mesh. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me on all the social media links, find me over on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.